my opinion, is um, a really good candidate to be nominated for the Tilster Legacy Award. Dan uh, has shown us that he's, he's good for anything and everything, but he gets along with those around him and he brings those around him together. He has a high standard of what he expects from himself and he expects that from those around him. One thing I'll always say about Dan is that if he says, okay, I got it, then I can forget about it. He's going to take care of it and that is so valuable to somebody who's managing Dan. Um, but what that brings to Centra is, is just great because he applies that to everybody, not just me. And so you can count on him. But he teaches other people that that's how you have to be. So he helps to teach our workforce that way too. I don't know if he does it on purpose or if he knows he does it. I tease him about it all the time. We talk about it. Um, and uh, you know, he, he kind of puffs up his chest and says, because I asked you to. And I've told him that before with reference to sub trades. Dan, just puff up your chest, get in his space and tell him he needs to be here tomorrow. And he laughs and goes, I don't do that. Um, but you know, he's, he's really just a, a big gentle teddy bear. Uh, but he comes across like, you know, he could be so much more if, if you uh, needed someone to have your back. He's definitely the guy you would like beside you in a bar fight. Well, Dan's prepared to do uh, everything he needs to. Um, to ensure the success of, of, of Centra. Um, he spends a lot of time um, mentoring um, all of the, the crew on site and um, he really promotes uh, inclusiveness into the Centra family. And he's always somebody to come up with you know, cost effective and, 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 and creative um, problems when we come up against issues. My four years at Centra, I've just seen uh, Dan take on, on, on leadership roles and really guide uh, younger guys coming up through on the job sites, uh, really kind of laying out the central way for them, uh, great attention to the detail on the projects, the safety of the projects, just a, a true leader. Uh, it really became apparent to me when we went to, to the Haiti trip and worked along with Dan for a week in Haiti, uh, saw A, the way that he cared about other people, cared about us as a team, uh, the bond that we built, the leadership that he took uh, in, in certain parts of the construction that we did down there. So you could really kind of see uh, Dan's, you know, soft side come out versus the versus the big burly uh, contractor guy, um, and for how much he cared about people and cared about the team and cared about playing an important role in that, and and also knowing of Dan outside of work with the work that he does with with youth, I know he's helped some underprivileged youth, uh, taking people into his own home. He's coached young kids in football for years. He's just a leader through and through, and I think a very worthy recipient. I nominated Rob because since I started in the plant, he's been a true partner. Um, without him, I couldn't have done, or we couldn't have done what, what's happened in the plant. Um, he has a can-do attitude and, and is always willing to go to the next level with everything. Like, he takes his job very seriously. He, he, he's, his ethics are very strong. Like, he, he always goes to the next level with things, never leaves something half done. But when Rob takes on the job, it's always finished. Hi, everyone. So my nominee for the Tilstra Legacy Award this year um, is somebody that I've managed to spend time with in the LDP program, which I've got a lot out of. And I've seen him develop into someone who's substantial for us. He's uh, the epitome of greatness, I feel. Um, does everything he needs to do within his team, builds his team promotes his team, promotes people within his team, um, and does everything he can to better us as a company. So for that reason, Rob Arden is my vote for this year and I hope he gets it because he well deserves it. Hi, I'm Chris, Central Windows in Nanaimo. I vote for Rob for two main reasons. One is he's becoming a very important cog for us in the branch. He is boots on the ground, he's efficient, effective and can be relied upon. Uh, for anything that comes to the plant, the windows, sliding doors or exterior doors. Second reason I voted for him is because he's a great example for those within the plant department or any department as to what hard work, determination and ambition can do to make a real difference inside your department. To be recognised not only inside your department but by people outside is a true achievement. Well done Rob.
Bonnie is the person you want on your team when something needs to get done. She has this ability to be direct in a way that is coming to, is about getting the project done and making sure that everything is happening because it means something bigger than just the task itself. And she's direct and I love it. And if you need something done, Bonnie is the first person that everybody wants on their team because she has this ability to bring things together and make it happen. Entrepreneurial spirit is something that I think Bonnie shows because she's just so driven. She is a driver behind so many things. She's willing to look outside of how we've done something before and she just wants to break the rules and make things better and she's not afraid to take those chances or find those answers. So entrepreneurial spirit is something that I just see in her every day and in her personal life too. I mean, Bonnie doesn't just work at Centra. She works as a waitress. She manages a busy family. She keeps things running and she puts in a lot of countless hours outside of Centra's like her normal day-to-day -day stuff so that woman is always working and always hustling and always going. I've chosen Bonnie for the Tilster Award for 2019 because I think she's had a huge impact on all of us just running all our big events from behind the scenes our star days the golf tournament um, the AGM at this event I'm sure she's scrambling around in the background somewhere um, all the while completely taking care of her business in the office and finding time to follow up with guys like me and the other site supers and probably Jeff Foster at the same time making sure we have our jobs done at the same time. So I really hope she gets the recognition this year. Hey, Josh Lehman from Centre Victoria. Um, I voted for Bonnie. Uh, I believe she's uh, behind the scenes a lot of the times in all of our big events that Centre puts together. I feel she doesn't get enough credit, so I hope she wins this one. When, when we interviewed Bonnie, we interviewed her and, and another person. Steve Bartlett and I interviewed Bonnie. And, um, and at the end, we liked both. And so we said, well, you know, who do you want? And, and the first interviewee was supposed to be for CCL, and the second one was to be for Steve. But Steve was new at Centra, and so I sat in. And he sat in with mine, and I sat in with his. By the time we finished interviewing Bonnie, I thought, oh, I want, I want Bonnie on my team. Um, and so uh, Steve said, I think Bonnie might be better for you. And I agreed. And I said, yeah, take her, done. You know, obviously she's, a, she's a nominated and, um, and that means she got more than one nomination and she's spoken of highly all the time. Um, but yet if you work beside her, she's gonna expect a lot out of you. Um, and so you, you'd sort of have to be running to keep up with Bonnie. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, um, I hired Bonnie because she had an ability to help me be better to hold me accountable um, and to not um, not let me slack off if I was trying to you know avoid putting something in she would say Jeff you got to get that done and she's not so very well like I said over the last five years he grew from being a, uh, a young man to a very mature man now he's only 24 so he's still pretty young but he's also a red sealed now, carpenter. He, uh, he's stepping up to be one of my uh, lead hands, taking responsibility. He actually just joined our safety committee for uh, Centra. And let's just say that Sam um, is requested by most of the site supers. Um, he's requested by his teammates to work with. They always partner up. Not only does he uh, have a strong work ethic and he wants to drive and get the job done, He's willing to learn and he's willing to take guidance. He's also willing to give guidance and he's willing to help people and show them the right way. The great guy, he's kind of got a, you know, an everything and anything attitude. Um, he's dependable, right? He's the type of guy that, you know, I, I, I tell the crews that I, 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 need, I need some bodies for, for a big target job. Um, we we, we, we got to put out a lot of volume and, and Sam's right there and he comes, he gets stuck in and, and he delivers results. You're never going to have any issues with, with, with his quality. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's going to teach the guys that work with him, the younger guys, a thing or two. And, and I know he's done really well in his schooling too, right? So he has both the experience on site and the, the technical knowledge to back it up. So I think he's really a, a talent for the future. We really are lucky to have him with us um, because I learn a lot from him on a day-to-day -day basis but man he's just so sincere like he just gives you so much respect um, and all the respect that everyone deserves so I think that's 
how others feel when they approach him or when they're approached by him. Um, any kind of interaction that you have with him is always going to be a positive one because he really just has that core understanding of respecting others, whether they're going through a, a tough spot or you know whether he's in a rough patch. Jason's easy to approach, he's easy going. Uh, Jason's very family oriented, he's open minded. I don't think I've ever seen Jason angry in my entire career here. Uh, he's extremely respectful to everyone. Jason makes it fun to work here and I'm happy to have him on my team. I think Jason would want to see somebody else win this. Then that's part of Jason's type of personality, right? I think Jason, other than Danielle, he's always the last person in the office uh, in his department to leave, so he's very hardworking, but he also makes sure to spend time with his family. He follows up with his wife, makes sure she's doing okay. So he's very family-oriented, he's very work-oriented, and he makes sure to balance the two very well. Always positive, and his smile is so infectious, and it just makes the day better when you see him. Um, his incredible personality combined with his knowledge and understanding of how everything works in the shipping in the back end. I never have to worry uh, about anything getting to where it needs to go. I have no problems relying on Jason for, for anything. I think Jason is quintessential to the type of person that you want here at Centra and to the person that you want to work with. I would really like to thank each and every person that took the time out of their busy schedule and busy days to recognize their peers and their co-workers for all those great values that epitomize Centra. We were overwhelmed with the amount of nominations in and the quality of nominations this year. You can really see this program taking hold as our values of FIRST have taken hold. And boy, do we have a great group of finalists this year. So for the top five finalists, I'd like to start with Sam Shield. In talking with Dan Holmes, the site super that's uh, in charge of Sam, Sam has dedicated a lot of time and effort to both himself academically and honing his skills of what he does each and every day. It takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication to do it and we thank you Sam for all the hard work and dedication you're doing on Centra's behalf. For Jason, number one, he's got the best hat in Centra that's ever existed, if anybody's ever seen it. But most importantly about Jason, he is the biggest patriot of what could be Centra's culture there is. He is caring, he is open, he is honest, he is hardworking, he is passionate, and he is everywhere you need him to be at every time. He is that with customers and with everybody in the company, treating everybody equally. He is a true honor to work with you, Jason. Then we've got Dan Holmes. What can I say? Recently, we were on a photo shoot with Dan and yeah, his ego's getting to him a little bit. He was even in getting makeup and camera done for his big starring role now. It's funny to see Dan in that type of position. But you know, the thing that always I think about when I think about Dan is, he's a builder of people. Not just in what they do, but who they are as people. People don't realize he loans them cars, they'll loan them money. He'll deal with different things, anybody to help somebody's family. He's a coach and a teacher and a parent through and through to every single person at Centra. He's a true mentor and a true leader for our people. He epitomizes everything that Centra is about. Thank you so much, Dan. And we also have Rob Arden. Well, Rob is one of the funniest guys with some of the funniest shirt sayings you can ever imagine that he's got on there. Half the time I gotta read him and then figure him out and ask him to interpret. But he's got the quirkiest sense of dry humor you can ever have. But I'll tell you one thing. When he gives a presentation and he walks our customers and our professionals through and our other people, he teaches people. He is amazing at making people understand why the quality exists the way it does, why our processes are the way they are. And he has a true passion for making sure that is sustained in every product, not just the ones that get pulled off the line to test, in every single product through and through. He is that person that makes sure our standards are there when nobody's looking at all times. It's always the same. That's the type of person Rob is. And he's a really great guy to spend time with as well. Thank you so much, Rob. And last but definitely not least, the one that is truly unforgettable, 
unless you're me at a Christmas party, who forgot to mention her, who did so much help to me. Sorry again, Bonnie, for that. Uh, Bonnie O'Hara, she is amazing. She and her whole family epitomize Centra. She is dedicated, hardworking. You'll get emails back and forth with her at 6.30 in the morning at 10.30 at night. When she is all in, she's truly all in. She is the fabric and the background behind so many of our events, which are culture pieces for our organization. And a lot of people don't recognize that, but she is driving what we do as an organization and our family for all of us. She really does take care of all of us, and she is fantastic at being a project coordinator and working with all the site people. You hear time and time again how great it is to work with Bonnie and how much she can get done and just get to it along the way. She's a true partner every day, and Bonnie, thank you again. You truly are amazing. Thank you so much for your efforts. We really appreciate all you five finalists we couldn't ask for a better group. We know there's so many more out there that are well-deserving and there'll be future years as well. But boy, do all five of you epitomize everything Centra's about. Thank you.